Okay, my name is Pavel Acevedo. I'm originally from Oaxaca, Mexico. And this is the residency happening on uh, Fullerton College from the exhibition uh, in Springwood River. <laughs> So basically uh, what I've been doing this week, I've been like showing the students like process about like uh, basics of transferring, transferring imaging, images into like wood blocks, uh, working on, on designs of patterns, uh, working on mapping images like to work in, uh, in contrast to black and white. And actually, too, like the way to like uh, work in concepts, concepts about like the art making, their images, and the way to approach it in other in other ways to like looking for other mediums to probably like they might speak to them and like uh, a way to like for example to reach out a bigger community besides the classroom too as well. That's what it's been and like questions from them like they've been yeah. coming after right now, like you know the social media. It's been happening. So the art that I'm focused is like pre-making and in pre-making I'm like right now like mainly focused on like relief print on wood blocks and linoleum, linoleum blocks. That's basically my, my focus during this uh, residency and, and my artwork as well. What inspires in my work is like the way to like uh, collaborate into different species to like create these other options and to probably like bring opportunities to evolve other systems to operate into this contemporary world. So I like to use like reference from nature and like how those ones like could be offering us a way to like liberate ourselves and heal ourselves too during this time. My name is Joey Fenwick. I am an art history major with an emphasis in museum studies. The field of art that I'm most interested in is printmaking, especially seriography or screen printing. This week, uh, I spent a lot of time helping out Pavel, Todd Smith, our professor, as well as leading demos and guides on how to ink matrixes, pull paper, as well as cutting paper for students to take some of the prints that they worked on here in the class home with them. Saturday, um, it's I would be find myself practice. doing a lot more workshops similar to this. I think it's a really amazing part of you do what you have printing and as make well it happen, as you know? other forms of printmaking in general, the collaborative nature to teach and guide and help the community in this program especially this artist in residency has been more than helpful to gauge that. The opportunity about like collaborating with students and uh, staff has been like rewarding because so if it's a way to like expand inspired, more like the idea of collaboration and you create like an open conversation about like a process of the artwork and not only like technique not only like technique but beyond that like a way to probably make a living and like the other way too about like creating like other like options about curation so that's what like really inspires me and for example like a way to like probably decentralize like the weight of education my work into an institution as well. Todd Smith, and I teach Introduction to Printmaking. It was amazing to have Pavel as our artist in residence this week because he just showed our students, you know, what they could do outside of school, working with people in the community, uh, coming up with imagery um, that's pertinent to social and cultural issues. Uh, going on right now in the 21st century. I think one of the most important 
or most valuable things that the students learned this week working with Pavel was uh, work ethic, getting things done uh, no matter what the deadline was, um, how to work with others, how to collaborate with one another, and realizing Pavel's uh, vision for this project. So I think that was probably the most important thing. My name is Leila Trotter and my major is art. Oh, collaborating with him and collaborating with the whole class is honestly so great. I, I love doing team collaboration pieces with art because like being in your own in your own mindset you are only you're like limited to yourself and when you do collaborative pieces you see so many different art uh, styles and so many different things and it's so great and it's so like it just makes me happy to see everyone working feeling feeling so des dedicated to one thing and um, making it happen. Uh, my role this week was, I actually did it a lot. I got way more involved than I thought I was going to. I, I of course, did the carving as well as my peers in the class. I, I um, put my own art piece in, which is really nice. And I have been helping a lot with uh, demos, actually, and because I have been coming every day, and so I know a lot. And so I've been help, helping other students get the basics down. I would definitely do more of this art because of the workshop. It's been a lot of fun and uh, I really enjoy it. Um, the most valuable lesson I learned this week, I learned a lot, honestly, um, just with like like little practical techniques, um, like using powder to make ink dry faster or um, little uh, techniques in curving your tools. And it's just like little things like that that I think make you like a really great artist. The most valuable lesson I learned is time management, as well as the nature of connecting with, with students on a more personal level, which helps them engage more with the medium and more with what they're seeing in front of them. The show downstairs is basically an exploration about like pre-making and expanding the idea of, and the idea in the craft of pre-making into another surface is like installation, painting, uh, ceramics, and animation as well. So with these ideas, I'm, I'm like more like focusing an idea of like uh, rebirth and, and reinvent yourself and, and how like this affect other like ecosystems. And at the, at the same time with the, uh, with the goal of like evolving, so in with that, like creating independent, independent like communities and self-sufficiency. That's what I like. I'm, I'm talking in that exhibition. If it wasn't for the workshop, I don't think the students would have learned. They would have just taken it as maybe another assignment without having. If Pavel wasn't here, they would have gotten something out of it, but they wouldn't have understood the. Uh, broader implications or the you know the broader implications of how Pavel works with other artists in the community and works with people so they wouldn't have got that experience extra experience of thinking beyond the classroom so the classroom is a wonderful incubator for ideas and creativity but you shouldn't stop there they, my students have to think about the broader you know, community and, and what their art is going to do outside of the classroom. And Pavel brought that in for them to realize, oh, there's more out there than just the rules that my instructor is giving me for this assignment. I learned that I could not rely just on myself. It was a group effort, it was a community effort, and that's what Pavel talks about in his work and working with people. I thought, okay, we're just gonna be working with Pavel. This is what we're gonna do. But Pavel's like, I wanna bring other people in. And, and I was like, oh, okay, this is, gonna be, this is gonna be an experience. And then I also realized that I couldn't do this on my own. So without the help of my colleagues, we couldn't have made this as successful as it was. So it was a group effort and that's, that's what I, that's the most, I, uh, most important thing I learned. I would like them to walk away with the idea that they, they have to like take a risk to do what they feel like they wanted to do it from their, their guts. 
and I want them to like feel the the they, they give it the best try and to feel like like to feel like to listen to their inner voice, you know, to feel like the the truth and so and like just keep going into like find out like in other situations for them to like to explore the art, the results and to extend the uh, the chance to other ones that they're like seeking the same, you know, like carry more like an open community. What I do learn is like, I do want to be like a, an educator, a teacher and a community college. And I would like to, yeah, just to like have like more like long-term projects with the students and see how like those achieve, you know, like well, planting a seed for them, you know, like see how those involves. That's what I, I feel like I, I would like to do in the future besides just like working on my craft. I would love for the college and for the district to have the funding available to bring more artists, uh, a more diverse group of artists from outside many different disciplines. We have a lot of great ideas here. We have a diverse art department and we all want to, we all have different aspects of the, the different industries and the different art mediums that we want to bring in people from the outside, professionals, who are working out there to bring them in, but we just don't always have the funding to do that. So I think if we had a more robust funding avenue to, to pay, to invite and pay artists what they're worth, to come and spend more time with our students, that'd be great. Obviously we can't do that every day, but if we had um, more speaking artists and, uh, and the funding to pay for those artists just to come for one or two sessions, that would be amazing for our students. That would bring, that would bridge uh, the school with the community, I think, and the, and the broader, the broader career, art career community as well.